Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this lesson is going to be entitled, The Power is Coming. The Power is Coming. All right, and what is that power? That's the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, our Heavenly Father is a power. The Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. He also is a power. All right, and we have the power through his word, which is this gospel of Yahweh Shai. But the power that's also coming is the carnalness of his righteous power, which brothers, you know, of the elect will receive and perform righteous miracles, you know, before all the world, before all eyes can see, you know. And um, this is basically, you know, a lesson uh, is inspired from off of watching the elder brother, Yashawamba. He did his response to the brother out there in South Carolina, the two brothers, in which the video was uh, something around the lines entitled, The Family That Came and Gave Gifts, all right? And immediately, the first thing I thought of was this chapter, Mark 16. So I wanted to put a little lesson together and hopes to edify those of the whole four elect. Because that video, you know, it did uplift my spirit too. Because, you know, we, we uh, scriptures say we are fools for Yahweh Shai's sake. All right. And we're soldiers. And soldiers mean to be solitary. You know, we learn in this truth from the very beginning that we, we suffer. You know, so suffering... You know, and this truth is kind of a norm. You know, after a while, you kind of get numb to the loss of uh, things and the sufferings in your life. But um, our Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, is a just power. So while we learn to suffer, you got to understand, too, the Lord is also going to bring the comfort. And that comfort is the word first, but also the comfort and the power of, carn of the carn carnality of things, if I'm saying that right, you know, meaning that righteous power, all right, that you can, you know, hold within your hand, the thought of your mind, okay, that you can manifest things in the, in the physical, all right, if that makes sense, and it's coming, okay, because our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is a just weight, he's a just power, all right, we suffer more than we, we can actually glory, and that's beautiful because when you're suffering in this truth, you truly understand the, uh, the essence, the, uh, the, 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 the truth about, you know, how this thing works and why we're in captivity, you know. The Lord wants us to uh, really enjoy ourselves in the kingdom when he gives his elect that kingdom, all right, which is here on earth, you know. But I don't want to keep going on. There was a few thoughts that came to mind after seeing the video. And like I said, I thought of this, this chapter. So I want to start at 11. Whole chapter is good. This is when Yahweh Shai, he rose the third day, and um, and uh, you know the disciples didn't believe at first until he actually showed himself, and and um, what uh what comes to mind also is that um you know when Yahweh Shai, the more and more we get closer to our kingdom, the more and more the righteous miracles. So I, so maybe I'll title the lesson, the righteous power is coming. You know, because there's power on the left hand side too, okay? Even though it stems from the from the root of power, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, but it's power on the left and it's power on the right. And we're of the right, and that's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect, all right? So maybe the title of the lesson will be, The Righteous Power is Coming. So anyway, um, I don't even know where to start. Um, I'll just start from here, verse 9, Mark 6 and 9, it says, and it says, Now when Yahweh Shai was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. Now I must say this, for the prideful women out there that really, that's deprived of understanding of this truth, you know, just because Yahweh Shai appeared to Mary Magdalene doesn't mean that, you know, um, that women are over men, all right, because she was the first to see him. He appeared unto her because you got certain individual, you got wicked women out here that claim to be, you know, in this truth and claim to be holy. And they like to teach the scriptures and they go off, you know, and they could use the scripture to say, see, look, 
Yahweh Shai appeared unto her first. Yeah, it just doesn't mean anything, man. It just means that Yahweh Shai is making himself known. Okay, and he appeared to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he cast seven devils. All right, meaning this woman had repented and she became holy. Holy means to be separate. All right, wasn't meaning that she was going to become a rapper. You know, she wasn't wearing weave in her hair. She wasn't um, uh, being an adulterous woman, you know, being evil. Okay, she was a holy woman adorning herself in modest apparel and following after righteousness. So that's that's that right. Verse 10. And she went and told them that had been with him as they mourned and weep. And they when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen of her, believe not. After that, he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. So that's that power. All right. Yahweh Shai came in another form. OK. So that shows you that, man, just imagine when the Lord allow us brothers, you know, those of the whole four elect to receive that power, to heal, you know, to take, uh, trans to transform the physical flesh. You know, Esau got all his power now. All right. They could do all these things through their carnalness. All right. So how much more the righteousness of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? So verse 12, after that, he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country and they went and told it unto the residue neither believe they them afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen and that's why you know being in this truth now believing in the lord in his absence that takes great faith man you know, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That takes great faith to believe in the invisible. You know, you know, the invisible power, so to say. All right. Because when the Lord do manifest, you know, in the physical. All right. Man, you're going to truly know that you had that special gift of faith, which going back to Ephesians, I believe, two and eight, the, uh, the gift of faith, because of faith, faith is given as a gift from Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. So verse 15, and he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believe is and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believe not shall be damned. OK, so it's all about believing. We did a lesson this week. The brothers here in the New Jersey camp. All right. We did a lesson this week together on uh, believing. I think the title was belief, you know, belief. All right. It says, and belief and that belief, excuse me, and that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. What is that baptism? Baptism in the word, the washing of water from the word. OK, not Christianity, not these Baptist churches, Pentecost, Jehovah's wickedness. All right. These government churches, but baptized in the word. All right. Being fed with the knowledge and understanding, changing from you know, wickedness until righteousness, casting off the old man. That what it, that's what it means to be baptized, man. Okay. Shall be saved. What are we being saved from? Saved from the thermonuclear missiles, man. What are we being saved from? The mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. All right. The, the said perils, the evil that's coming. The, the Lord's, the Heavenly Father's wrath that he's going to pour upon this place, upon the wicked. That's what we want to be saved from. But he that believeth not shall be damned. See that? Verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Now notice the key word there is name. My name. In my name. That's why we stress. All right. That the name of the Lord is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, the scriptures say the the elect shall stand stiffly for the name of the Lord. All right. So in my name, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, shall they cast out devils. What are the devils? The demons, man, the lion spirits that among that's among the Lord's elect. OK, because you got two thirds of our people who the Lord has damned, damned them to destruction. And he have a one third that he kept to himself. All right. So that's going to be saved to do what? Fulfill prophecy. OK, 
So the devils, which devil goes back to Diablos, deceive, deceiver, all right? You got a lot of our folks, okay, that call themselves blacks and Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, West Indian Haitians. They have a lying spirit on them. You know, they believe in false gods. So the cast out devils, the cast out that lying spirit. Paul did it. Paul and uh, what was it, Silas? Um, I think it's Acts 16, Salakia. Uh, but the account was when Paul was grieved, he was vexed with the woman that had the lying spirit on her. He cast that demon up out of her. So better be, you better know that also in this day too, all right? The men of the Lord are going to have power to do that. And brothers are doing it through the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, okay? By the word. It's happening right before your eyes. That video that uh, the elder brother Yashawamba did a response to with the brother in South Carolina where the family came giving gifts was a proof, okay? That should uplift your spirit, man, that the Lord is going to start rewarding the righteous, man. OK, even though we're not going to receive that penny, not just yet, because the penny represents salvation. But we're going to start seeing more of the Lord establishing who his elect is, man, or who the Lord is dealing with, I should say. All right. So it says they shall speak with new tongues, meaning what? Different languages, man. All right. Uh, the brother uh, Pashai, I saw on his page, he posted another brother that was speaking Japanese. All right. You got the Lord's name being taught in the Philippines, man. I believe there's a brother uh, from the Philippines that know he's an Israelite. You know, you got you got brothers all over the world, man, that speak different dialects, different tongues, man. All right. It says they shall take up serpents and they shall drink any deadly thing. They shall. Excuse me. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. All right. So guess what? This is going to also happen, man. Where brothers able to heal the sick, you know, heal the lame, you know, cast out devils. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. You know, there's a, a, a movie that come in mind right now, which I just recently saw on Netflix was called The, uh, the Old Guard. Brothers, check that out. The, o the Old Guard. All right. Where. Uh. You know, it's pretty spirit, it's spiritual to a, to a distinct. You see what uh, Esau is cooking up, but you also see the spiritualness and righteousness in it. You know, when you watch it, because this woman, which was an Edomite woman, she couldn't die. She was from the ancient of times. She was on the earth. But it was spiritual because that it wasn't man-made for them to have uh, this eternity. It was, it was a gift, you know, that was given to random. So, you know, brothers could watch that too. It's pretty good. But anyway, let's get back. This is verse 19. It says, so then after the Lord has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of Yahweh. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following to Wab. All right. And that's me. That's the point. Really, in verse 20, it says, and they went forth. What, who went forth? The prophets. That's what that's what you see. The brothers are doing prophesizing man in season out of season and they went forth and preached they're preaching the truth all right not just any truth but the the, the correct 100 percent truth of yahweh by shim yahweh shai it says uh and preach everywhere the lord working with them see and confirming the word with signs following you know because why the prophecies man the prophecies are taking taking its place. But, you know, my main uh, point of this lesson is that, you know, you see in that video of brother seen it, brother should have seen it, you know, that the, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is shining down upon his hopeful elect, you know, and this is just going to come, man. We are at the end, you know, and things uh, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to leave people in wonder and awe, you know, not just the sun and the sun and the moon. You know, but more sightings of the chariots, you know, brothers receiving those special gifts. All right. Which is spiritual powers. You know, brothers receive power now. You know, I remember, uh, I believe, I think it was Elder Apostle Bar. It was years ago. Apostles always said all the time, but Apostle Ricard as well, that we have a form of spiritual powers now because we know it is word, man. You know, and that's true. We do have a form of power now. Brothers able to go uh, into the word. You know, uh, with the Lord's Rakakwadash, Holy Spirit on them, 
you know, to uh, enlighten someone, you know, to wake them up to the truth, to cast out demons and devils on them, you know, so that they'll be, their eyes will be open, you know. So I hope this lesson was edifying, you know, uh, to the whole four elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.